the separately managed account structure that we use here at Bluebird Wealth um, is something that can really benefit most people that are looking for professional management. Could you share what a separately managed account is and how it compares with the more common financial product approach that many people are, are likely familiar with? Sure. So uh, the most common arrangement is for client assets to be invested into a number, number of funds, mutual funds or exchange traded funds. Uh, those funds are in turn comprised of in underlying securities, stocks and bonds, typically. Uh, a separately managed account is where we remove or get rid of the layer, the extra layer of funds and build portfolios of underlying securities, stocks and bonds mostly, directly into a, in a client's name. Uh, there are multiple advantages. One is cost, so there's not the extra layer um, of fees associated with the funds, the cost to own those funds. Uh, another is precision. Uh, we know the companies we own, um, and we're not a layer removed from the strategy of the funds, so that the opinions of the fund manager, for example, uh, are, do not muddy the waters. Um, access, clients have direct access to uh, the people, person managing their money, um, unlike a, a fund approach. And, and then finally is customization, it's just, it's just a, a degree of customization that's not available in a fund approach with separately managed accounts. Most of the feedback I've received from clients so far has been, it's really transparent. They can see the individual company names, uh, the stocks in their portfolio, names that they recognize instead of a bunch of mutual funds or exchange traded funds or even annuity uh, company names in their portfolio. And having direct access to you as a portfolio manager gives that extra level of comfort that, yes, I do know who's managing my portfolio, who's making the decisions, and it's a strategy that we've all had a discussion about. And in addition to that, the tax management opportunities, being able to see the difference between short and long-term capital gains and looking for opportunity to harvest losses, offsetting some of those capital gains with losses to create a better after-tax return that does take some time to really understand and is only for taxable accounts, but that's been a huge advantage. 